okay my dear students today we will discuss a little bit about the euclidean algorithm okay i hope uh, till last day what you have studied you remember that uh, we have first we have a theorem so assume that a and b are two positive integers and r be the remainder when a is divided by b then the gcd of a b is same as gcd of b r okay in this case we have assumed that a is greater than b let us briefly see the outline of the proof. Let D is equal to AB. That is, D is the GCD of AB. And D dash be the GCD of B comma R. We will prove that D is equal to D dash. So it is for to show that D is equal to D dash, D dash it is enough if we prove that D is equal to D dash and no, D divides D dash and D dash divides D. By the division algorithm, we, we can find a unique quotient Q such that A equal to BQ plus R. We first show that D divides D dash. Since D divides AB, D divides A and D divides B. So that so D will divide BQ. Okay. Therefore, D will divide A minus BQ. Since A equal to BQ minus R, A will be divided by D and bq will be divided by b so a minus bq will be divided by b so r is r will be d will divide r okay therefore d divides b d divides r therefore d divides br or the gcd of br that is d divides d dash similarly we can show that d dash divides d so d dash is equal to d or the gcd of ab is same as gcd of br next we will study the euclidean algorithm let A and B be any two positive integers with A greater than or equal to B. If A equal to B, then the GCD of AB equal to A. We have nothing to, else to say. So assume that A is greater than B. If A is not greater than B, then B will be greater than or equal to A. So the process is similar by taking, replacing A in this result by B. Let R0 is equal to B. Then, by the successive application of division algorithm, we get a sequence of equations A is equal to Q0 R0 plus R1, where 0 less than or equal to R1 less than R0. R0 is equal to Q1 R1 plus R2, where 0 less than or equal to R2 less than R1, etc. If going on like this, every time you can see that R0 will be, uh, R1 will be less than R0, R2 will be less than R1. In other words, B is equal to R0 greater than R1 greater than R2 etc greater than or equal to 0. Since the, all the remainders are non-negative and getting smaller and smaller, this sequence will eventually terminate with the remainder Rn plus 1 is equal to 0. Okay, now you take the last two equations. One is Rn minus 2 is equal to Qn minus 1 Rn minus 1 plus Rn and Rn minus 1 is equal to QnR. So we can see that by the just previous theorem, the GCD of AB is same as GCD of AR0, that is same as R0 R1, GCD of R0 R1, that is same as GCD of R1 R2, etc. That is same as GCD of Rn minus 1 Rn, that is equal to Rn, the last non zero remainder. Okay, so this is what we mean by uh, Euclidean algorithm. Now we will try to find what is the GCD of 4076 and 1024. We know that 4076 is 3 times 1024 plus. 1004. Now we divide 1024 by uh, 1004. So our or else 1024 is equal to 1 into 1004 plus 20 and 1004 is nothing but 50 into 20 plus 4 or 20 is equal to 50 into 4 plus 0 or otherwise the GCD of 4076 and 1024 is 4. Next we have this lemma. If alpha is equal to 1 plus root 5 divided by Two, then alpha n minus 2 is less than fn less than alpha n minus 1 where n is greater than or equal to 3. Next is Lamy's theorem. The number of divisions needed to compute AB, the GCD of AB by Euclidean algorithm is no more than 5 times the number of decimal digits in B where A greater than or equal to B greater than or equal to 2. I think proof of these two lemmas are not needed because it seems to be very much uh, long. So I think most probably examinations might not ask this proof of these theorems. Uh, try to learn this and if you have any doubt do ask me we will try to do the thing. Okay.